So I've discovered a lot of my subscribers actually have an Apple TV because it's a pretty great compact device that is simple to use and really integrates Apple's overall ecosystem. Whether you have a MacBook or you have an iPhone, it's a great way to stay interconnected. Now, one of the downsides is, of course, it's very tough to sideload them. In fact, there is a way to load Kodi on the new ones, but it's extremely difficult. And I'll be doing a video on it later on with everything you need, all the accessories. But for today, I wanted to go over some of the top free apps you can get for your Apple TV that it will at least make your experience maybe a little bit closer to what you're missing from an Android device. So if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button right down below. Give this video a big thumbs up and let's get into it. Now, I will admit people really do uh, like shit on Apple a lot, but their TV, their Apple TV is actually a really good device and you have to honestly give it a chance. Don't worry, we're not kicking it off with an IP vanish promo. We're going to get into our first app that I really suggest getting on it. And that is called Tubi TV. Now you might've seen this pop up once, twice, maybe three times, but you might not realize how good this is for a completely free app. No, this is not a subscription service. You can see they're even showing off their new Mr. Beast live channel. So go ahead and click on it, open it up. And I want to give you a little bit of a walkthrough through the app and show you exactly what you're missing if you're not using 2B TV right now. And then we're also going to go over how to get extra content from it. This is a bonus that you might not be learning from other YouTubers. So let's go ahead and click open. This is their brand new kind of presentation. They rebranded themselves. Now you can either sign in or you can continue as a guest. Just continue as a guest for 99% of us. Um, we don't need to sign in. That's only if you want to save your progress and have them the same across devices. So if you're logged in on multiple devices, go ahead and sign in. Otherwise, just continue as guest. Now there is a lot on Tubi and right on the home menu, you're going to see a ton of movies and TV shows. And there's actually really good content. So it's not all garbage B movies. There's actually stuff that you're gonna be like, Oh, I remember watching that. I remember watching blade, right? Uh, I remember watching rain man. So you do see actual great content uh, and they are continuously adding it, adding to it. And in fact, this is probably the most successful free streaming app on the market. I would say in my personal opinion, uh, a big thanks because of their really greatly detailed uh, menu here. Now we're also going to go over the live TV, which they do have dedicated IP TV, but I want to show you a few more things. There's dedicated categories you can access right here. There are networks, which are basically other companies that are bringing their stuff on. So it's like a complete network of content. And one of the favorite actual menus in here is the kids menu, because the great part about this is to be kids. You can just throw your kids on, throw it on, and uh, they can just scroll through and watch whatever they want because it's all appropriate and it stays locked to some extent. So I'll show you that, but it actually has a pretty good wide variety, everything from like Yu-Gi-Oh to poke. I think Pokemon's on here too. And the great, so you can also do categories right here and uh, network. If they're looking for specific stuff, you can see here, it's just Lego, but when you're about to exit, you have to put in your age, which comes in handy because if whatever, it's a little kid, they might not be able to enter a correct birth date. So that is a, a little bit of a way to stay out of it. But one thing I do want to show you is the live TV. So check this out. Tubi TV actually has a dedicated live TV section, and they've done a really great job developing it. They have tons and tons and tons of channels on here uh, to enjoy, and they have a pretty detailed guide as well that you can search through depending on what you're looking at. Now, depending on your country, you might not have as much content as I have, or you might have more, you might have two, three times as more, but you might not have the same content. And this is the way we're going to solve that. Now, if you've never used the VPN IP vanish, they're the sponsors of this channel, uh, and you can get them right in the app store, but I recommend them because they actually work. So go ahead and open it up once you have it installed on your app store, and you're just going to pick a country. So in this case, I know Tubi TV uh, in the United Kingdoms has different content than I have. So let's go ahead and scroll through here. We're gonna go all the way down until we get to the United Kingdoms. We're gonna connect it right here. This is gonna activate our uh, IP Vanish subscription. We're gonna go back. So now when we open Tubi TV back up with our IP Vanish subscription, Tubi is gonna think we're in the UK. And because Tubi doesn't really care, you're gonna get content that is in the UK. So you're gonna notice a ton of different shows, movies, uh, and most importantly, if that country has live TV, the UK does not for Tubi. It will also show live TV. But for this case, we're going to see a lot more shows and movies that are specific to the United Kingdoms that they have 
the rights to. So it's a great way to get more content out of your subscription and different shows and movies. And in this case, it's a free app. So there's really, it's a win-win. There's a, it's a zero lose situation. Now, right now, IP Vanish is having close to a 78% discount. This could change when you're watching this video, uh, but it's stupidly cheap. Uh, I'll have my most recent discount just if you click on the link and you get 30 days free. And as you can see, it works pretty great on Apple TV. So you can go ahead and go down below in the description of the video, click on it there, and you'll be able to access it. It's a really nice way um, to get some extra bonus out of subscriptions you may already have or ones that are already free. Okay, so now that we are done with Tubi, let's move on to the next app I suggest. Uh, and this one is available in quite a few countries now. It actually just came to Canada. And it's called Pluto TV. And the great part about Pluto is this is mostly IPTV. So it's mostly created for live TV channels. In this case, where I live, 160 channels. Again, a VPN will help you get other content. So go ahead and open it up when you're ready. And what you're going to see inside of Pluto is a really detailed guide with so many channels on it and a simple way on this left hand side to scroll through the different categories. If you want true crime, go to the true crime. They got a little bit of everything. If you're looking for some trashy reality TV, they got Mob Wives, they got Wahlburgers, uh, the Catfish TV show, which is hilarious if you've ever watched it. Teen Mom, they got a little bit of everything, right? Game shows, no problem. One verse 100, pointless, Crystal Maze. Don't know what any of those are, but I'm sure they're good. So they actually have a pretty detailed guide with a way to look quite a bit farther in the future. It looks like around 12 hours it gives you, which is still pretty good. So you get a 12 hour advance in their guide as well. Now the downside of Pluto, not a whole lot of on-demand content. They got a little bit, a little bit, a little tiny bit, but it's not a lot. Okay. So they have some live on-demand co content, everything from movies to dramas to entertainment if you really want. But again, it's not the craziest library you're ever going to see. It's just okay at the end of the day. They did at one point have inside of settings like a restrictions, but maybe that was a different app. So you can't even really restrict this one. You just kind of have to use it as you use it. But still pretty good app. And it's going to get you a lot of extra live TV channels with pretty much no work to what you're already doing. Okay, lastly, this is probably one of my favorites, and that is Plex TV. Why? Because not only is it live TV, not only is it on demand, but you can also create your own servers and upload your own content to it. And that's where Plex TV becomes very unique. So I'm going to do this update really quick and then open it up and we'll continue on and I'll show you Plex TV. Plex TV is probably one of the best all around apps um, because it offers, like I said, a little bit of everything, including you can play music inside of it. They've kind of created this full experience for you. Now, again, you can sign in if you want, and this is going to interconnect throughout your devices. If you have it on your iPhone, great. You can now have your content kind of transfer over and stuff like that. And then if you're also adding content via Plex server, this is how you would take advantage of that with your Plex account. So it's kind of an all-in-one feature here. Now we can search, but we're going to avoid that for now. What you're going to want to check out first is this live TV se section. And I love that they have everything listed right at the top here. So you can easily scroll through all the categories. And again, if you're looking for classic TV, if you're looking for chills and trills, if you're looking for just movies or history and science, they got a little bit of everything. Um, but we're just going to stick mostly to Plex channels. Oh, let's go back right here. Yeah. Feature channels. So this shows some of the most popular channels uh, and there's over 200 total. And this is available almost in every single country. Uh, I think they're available in over like 180. So like they really did a great job uh, keeping the rights to Plex TV and also offering it to as many users as possible. There's really no need for a VPN in this case because VPNs don't benefit you as much. Um, so for this one, you just stick with what you got and this is what you're going to get out of it. I'm sure some changes with a VPN, but I've just noticed so much content on it. I don't really think it matters. Um, and sometimes it's hard to decipher if it's actually changing stuff. Uh, in this case, I don't think it is, except for maybe news channels. Now, they do also have movies and TV shows, and these are all through Plex, licensed, free to watch, nothing else. Girl Next Door, great movie. Love and Other Drugs, great movie. Vegas, I don't remember that one. Probably an okay movie, Ashton Kutcher's in it. Uh, but they do have a little bit of everything for all sorts of types of users. And then at the very top here, we can also go to categories, which is going to allow you to pick certain categories to check out. And then of course, there's also the brands section where there's just specific brands that own content. Like if you're looking for Lionsgate, 
you know, you'll be able to see all the Lionsgate content, which is pretty useful. Um, I always do notice more TV shows than actual movies on here, but there are some TV shows I know as well. Um, but it, it does always seem like more movies than anything. Now, they do also have the Discover feature, which is really cool. It will actually show you new and recommended movies uh, and where to watch them, right? So it'll also tell you, hey, you can watch this on Netflix or with a Netflix basic subscription. Uh, let's see, Dune 2 that just came out, right? That's going to show you, oh, there's nowhere to stream it yet because it just came out. So you have to watch it in the movie theater. Great movie, by the way. 10 out of 10 recommend. Uh, and then, of course, music, which if you have a title already, you'll be able to connect your title subscription and do a ton of stuff through this. It's really useful and you'll be able to get, get access to all your favorite artists, all your favorite music um, through your title subscription. You know, if you already have it, why not connect it? And then here is your media where you'll be able to add in your custom Plex media. So if you have your own shows, movies that you already own, you can go ahead and upload them to your PC to the server. And then you'll be able to watch it across all of your Plex servers. That's why it's one of the most useful apps overall. But that's really everything for today's video, guys. Hopefully that helped you get a little bit more out of your Apple TV. Again, if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button right down below. I appreciate all of you coming out uh, and enjoying the content. We will be doing a video pretty soon on Cody on Apple TV. So hit the subscribe button so you know when to come out and check that out. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next one.